to teach you how to spray using the Vegas Red. We have to use a sieve to sieve the glaze to get any any kind of like clumps, little impurities like bisque out of the out of the glaze, so it does not affect and damage our gun. Okay. So using our our little bucket, our little cups. I mean, I'm going to put my talisman sieve inside of here. This is what I would like everybody to use, and then using a generous amount because the gun can really only hold about three quarters of a pitcher. We're then gonna pour that in on top. And as we're doing this process, you're gonna use a brush of some sign very gently and you're just gonna kind of rotate back and forth. If you press too hard, you will damage the sieve and we don't wanna do that, okay? So as I'm doing this, you can kind of hear it kind of trickling through. Slowly but surely, getting through to the other side. You can see it? You can see it now. Mm -hmm. You're in the way, Jim. Okay, I'm going to do one more group of it. And then again, remember how I said before, like, you know, I'm making a little bit of a mess. We got to make sure that we put everything back into the original bucket as soon as we are finished. Okay. Okay. So once I get this all kind of sieved through, thank you for letting me use the brush, Araceli. Okay, so I'm gonna put that here. So I'm gonna set that aside to clean for later. So from here, then we go into the spray booth and if somebody can grab my pitcher. All right, come on over everybody. So this is our spray booth. So this is not the condition I want the spray booth left, spray booth left in. Do you see how there's little bits of glaze everywhere? This is a water bucket at the end. And this is the spray gun in itself. So there's, this should be in better shape than it is right now. Um, so I will need to make sure that we stay all on top of this. This all needs to be sprayed down really well by the time oh. we're finished. So um, who's got that picture? Thank you so much. I'm gonna place it right down in the center here. In a minute, I'm gonna have you um, kick on the, actually, can you get me a pitcher of water? So what I'm gonna do in a minute is I'm gonna kick on um, the exhaust fan. So this exhaust fan is so strong and the particles of the glaze are so heavy that you do not need to wear a mask, okay? Um, the mask is when you don't have such a well-ventilated space because we have this huge system sucking every particle that's kind of moving straight out, okay? So I'm going to first kind of show you how this works with just water because you're also going to use water at the end to clean the gun and also to clean um, a spray booth. So I'm only putting just a little bit of water in here, putting the lid back on, and you can see it's literally like a gun, but it's not doing anything right now. But as you can see, the compression of the air, once I hit that, the lever, the, when I hit the le lever and it moves up, it is parallel, releasing the air into the pipe. We want about 40 pounds of pressure for our spray. Does everybody understand that? So, to just check on the side, check it out. So that is water, just water. So testing it out, getting a sense of how this works. Does everybody see that? Kind of cleaning it up a little bit and also cleaning it out the inside of the gun. Okay. So that's how it works. And what's nice is we've got this little water bucket below. This is made specifically for glazing. So now that I know my gun is completely clean, I'm then going to come in and fill this full of my glaze. And give yourself a generous amount. Put your lid back on. So when we start to spray, spraying glaze is tricky 
because you can't really tell where you started and where you, you, where you, you know, ended. Start, I'm gonna start at the corner of this handle and I'm gonna work my way through doing sweeps across and I'm gonna make sure that I'm at least 10 to 12 inches away, about a foot. If you get too close, what happens, like spray paint, what happens? It, it drips. So we don't want that. That's the whole point of this, is to get these even beautiful coats. As you're going back and forth, you rotate after you've gotten through the whole piece, do another rotation, rotate, do another rotation. You're gonna do it three times, okay? No more and no less. You don't do enough, it's gonna be like this light dusting and you're gonna be like, I swear I put lipstick purple on it. And I'm like, it's just like shiny clay colored. If you do too much, it will ruin the shelves and it will ruin your pot, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start this up. The video's still going. We're gonna turn the exhaust fan, the exhaust fan on. You're gonna watch me do it. And as you see me do it, I'm first gonna test my, my glaze that it's spraying well against the wall before I go to my pieces, all right? So can you hit that? builds up on the surface. So it's a little deceiving about what's happening. The pot itself is dry, but it's all murky, muddy on the bottom. What's nice is because I, I don't really have to clean the bottom just a little bit with my sponge. Does everybody see that? Okay, I'm gonna set this down. Then from here, I need to fill up, back up my gun with water. I'm gonna have you do two solid sweeps of cleaning this. And then I'm also going to show you how to release the gun and take it to the sink. So you can see here, I'm spraying it all down. Make sure you get along the vent in the back. Also, your little spray test spot. I love cleaning the spray booth. It's my favorite. I'd rather clean it than actually spray my pieces. All right. So to be conscientious, I want you to use all the water up in that gun. And then look, it just turns air, right? It's now just air. All right, turning my gun off, I mean the, the, um, that off. We are now going to release our gun from the piece. We're just gonna twist this here. Actually, you know what? I don't want you guys to do that. Did you release the pressure? Yes, I did. 
good. I want to too much. Um, I don't know why, because I just changed this and it just got a new one, and I don't have a release. I think we have we do have to twist it with the new way that I have it instead of. So there used to be like a, a loop, like a hand release, but there isn't anymore. So now you guys have to twist it off completely like this, and then take this to the sink and then clean it all up and then twist it back on. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay, helm, and then you can turn it off. Thanks so much.